Lob a flashbang. Go! Surveillance. You were there on surveillance? Sir. Imagine if you'd been there to shoot people. Not good, Aiden. No, sir. We're left with a damage limitation exercise. Quite a challenging one. There is, after all, rather a lot of damage. They were French special forces armed in the UK, unannounced. Yes. Plan A, blame the French. It's always worked in the past. Hmm? <laughs> 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 Bit of a stink about the girl, though. One of ours. Why was she on the ship? She's a captain from debt. Even so, girls in body bags. She's still alive. I'd better pray she stays that way. The clamor for the highest level inquiry gained momentum today when several respected government backbenchers joined the call for a full and frank whitewash free independent inquiry into the friendly fire incident on the motor vessel Dowager Joan. The Prime Minister is expected. Are you family? Family? No. Where is she today? Same as yesterday. Sleeping beauty. You've been here long. About an hour. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize anyone would be here. Hello. Mr. Walsh. Yes. I'm. So I can guess. I don't have anything to say to you. Fine. I'm sorry. I just wanted to say... I don't care what you have to say, really. As you were. Prime Minister's announcing a full judicial inquiry later today. What's that mean? Widgery? Bloody Sunday. Shit. In a word. Three judges, no holes barred, no whitewash. Whole truth and nothing but the truth. Is that such a bad thing? This is the sort of thing that brings down governments. And they don't like to be brought down. This inquiry means that they would rather we were brought down than they were. You face the risk of dismissals and you might even go to prison. How? 
I mean, we were just obeying orders. So were most of the people in Nuremberg. Gentlemen, Treasury lawyers are on their way and Prue Banks from MI5 to arrange your statements. If we all sing from the same hymn sheet, the French had no right to be there, the French shot first, the French failed to stop shooting despite shouted warnings, we might pull through. If not... Any news on Dotsie, sir? Walking wounded. I'm assigning you a new troop, Rupert Pro Tem. Captain Ian McElwain. He'll be with you this afternoon. Afternoon, Sergeant. Sir? Don't people salute round here? Um, no, sir. Or by and large, they don't. That was a rhetorical question, Sergeant. How do you mean? I mean, I'm a captain and I would like to hear the occasional sir and see a salute or two at the appropriate moments. Sir. Better, thank you. Now I'd like to see the personal files of Red Troop, please. Key. So those files are meant to be kept. Shall I come back in and we can start all this from scratch? That would be another rhetorical question, sir. I'm the new leader of Red Troop. I would like to see the men's files, please. Sergeant. Caroline Walsh. Shame that. I hear she's a looker. Henry Garvey. Richard Mann. James Dow. Lewis Hoffman. Rather a depleted little troop. Chance of some coffee? Sir. Black, no sugar. in support of Caroline. They see X-ray one, produce and raise an automatic weapon. Also witnessed by Ricky. Yeah, and I also witnessed you kicking the whole thing off by lobbing a flashbang onto the deck. Which Jim told me to do a split second before storming a gangplank. Why would he do that? Ask him. Hey! Who's my friend and you do not make jokes? You finished. Jem and Louis in support of Caroline. They say X-ray one, produce, then raise an automatic weapon. They then shout a clear warning. Army, drop your weapon. Army, drop your weapon. X-ray one then opens fire. Why? Hi, Prue. Why would the French soldier, when you've just stated very clearly, army, drop your weapon, why would he decide to go ahead and open fire? Why are you asking me? Because that's what the tribunal's going to want to know. Um, are the statements ready yet? Uh, no, not yet. Um, can you grab yourselves a coffee? We'll be with you in half an hour. Do we have to give statements? How can we convince the court it was all the fault of the French guys if we don't? Oh, I thought you was off to Luton to take over a TA depot. Yeah, but I mean, the bottom line is that we don't have to give statements, yeah? I thought you wanted to tell the truth. I just, I just don't want to lie, that's all. Lie about what? <sighs> about the fact that everyone was gagging for a fight. That Dotsie wasn't in control. That comms were next to useless. That Caroline was sent back onto the ship when people knew it was going to kick off. That we shot our own people. That you shot Caroline. That Louis started it all. The men were using their dicks instead of using their brains. What did you say? You heard. You hypocrite! What? I'm the hypocrite. <laughs> but you can't wait to get a little bit. Is everyone's checking their birdie bus? You'll all be volunteering hypocrite. for TA yeah, because when you meet your Caroline. new troop group. Hey, <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm Captain McElwain. Yeah. 
right. So. Come. Ian, what can I do for you? Red through for a total rabble, sir. Deal with it. Well, I've had a couple of thoughts, sir. I wondered if it might be a good idea to have them profiled. Psychologically assessed. Are you mad? They kill for a living. Some of them even enjoy it. What do you think your shrink would make of them? Next idea? I thought maybe a rugger match. What? What a very good idea. It is a widely held view that free speech and free inquiry underpin liberty in a democracy. This inquiry has been established by order of both houses that we may resolve a matter of urgent public importance with regard to the shooting on the motor vessel Dowager Joad. We are now in session. We had infiltrated a highly dangerous and organized gang whose currency was in heroin and human beings. The ship we were on was going to a mid-ocean rendezvous with the heads of this gang. Infiltrating the gang was the work of many months. A opportunity such as this was unrepeatable. The more people you tell of such an operation, the more risk there is it will be... Uh... Compromised? Exactly. And that is why no attempt was made to inform the British authorities that you had armed men in a British port. Well, uh, yes, but we felt we were in a harbor for maybe 48 hours, and why risk all those many months' work? We had not expected to be attacked with no warning. My lords, from the perspective of the British soldiers... Perspective we will share in due course. Please uh, continue. It was the act of a coward. To attack with no warning? So crazy for violence were they, they even shot their own people. We are not trained to, to, to attack with no order. Why? Why would we do that? Why? There was no warning. Men falling without... Men falling without firing a shot. I think we could be in for rather a bumpy ride. Yes, I know. <clears throat> There's no point in sending us a bloody invoice until you've sent us the bloody kit. Another week in this office and someone's going to get killed. How are you doing? Shite, thanks. Why aren't you backing up? That's that bollocks. Tell Jamie why I'm not back on ops. Who's the powers that be of this? And who are they? The CO. Oh, yeah? My file. How did you get that? Perks of being the tea lady. Here. A page and a half of Heno's reasons why Pete Twamley should be put out to grass. Fitness. I could carry you over the penny van, you bastard. Reaction speeds and judgment. Kind of implies it was my fault I copped a few in Bosnia when it was your reactions confronted with the slag you'd been shagging that cost me. Now, you took all the time to do this when you can barely write. Why? I expect the tribunal to explain why my daughter, who is an intelligence expert and not a frontline soldier and has not been trained in this kind of savagery, was allowed to be in the middle of a firefight with a pack of mad dogs and is now in a coma fighting for her young life. Come! Henry, what can I do you for? It's Captain McElwain, sir. But we're the only decent footballers in the entire regiment and he's asked us to play rugby. And you will. You will bloody obey orders, is that clear? Sir. Henry. Sid. Tough times. 
Things are going very badly for us at the inquiry. Very hostile. We'll be lucky to get out of this without some of us going down. Sacrificial lambs, that sort of thing. And all this belly kerfuffle with Caroline's parents. Well, somebody needs to uh, get them on site. Or maybe you should talk to them. I already did. Didn't go too well. I'll speak to them again. Sir. Tell them I'm putting her up for an MC. And are you? I need to get to training. Good man. Dempsey. What kind of ball is that? A rugger ball. Oh, chap. Anyone ever played this before? No. Nope. Game for puffs. Not for class puffs. Rest my case. Gentlemen, you know, Charlie, he'll make up the seven. Hi, right, chaps. I, uh, I take it you'll be playing then, sir. Without me, it'd be six, Sergeant. What about injuries? There won't be any. Make sure your head is clear of the ground. Yeah. Where's the ball, sir? It's over here. It's over here, huh? Come on, come on. Ah, bollocks. I'll get it one day, sir. called a hospital pass, moving the ball to a player that's about to be tackled. Yeah? Well, that's why I did it. <laughs> Heads up. Terrifying. Things are going badly against us at the tribunal. The witnesses are killing us. You are individually and jointly in danger of indictment with a variety of offences up to and including murder. Failure to appear in the witness box will only confirm the growing impression that we are guilty. You're not just individuals. You're part of a regiment. My regiment. And the regiment is under threat. I'm asking you to appear in person in the courtroom. Reporting restrictions will apply, but the court will not allow you the anonymity that you're normally used to. Well, they'll be asking us to do spreads for Hello! magazine as well, sir. When your book comes out, Ricky, I want you to give evidence to win them over. That's the only thing that can turn this back our way. Thank you. Come back soon, don't see. Peaceful. Yes. Could she stay this way? It's difficult to know at the moment. Mm. Nurse. Oh. It's all right, Caroline. It's all right. Don't try to move. Hey, 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 hey. Relax. Mm. Relax. It's best if you go on her. Mm. What? Oh, is she okay? Oh. It's okay? She wants you to go. Oh.
Was there firing anywhere else before this? No. Did you see who shot first? Yes, it was the... Marciac, the man on deck. The other witnesses were quite adamant they heard no shouted warning before there was firing. They were mistaken. There was a warning. And then there was firing? Yes. Perhaps he was just firing warning shots? Shots are shots. And Poynton and the SAS man on the dock designated Soldier C opened fire at this point. No more warnings being shouted. Oh, it was kicked off. There's no time for calling stuff out. You just go on until... Until? Well, until it's over. Until you go down or you run out of ammunition or all the other guys go down. You go on until you run out of ammunition? No orders? No controls? Just... It's kicked off and you go on until you run out of ammunition? All sounds rather undisciplined and wild. It also sounds rather callous, rather indifferent to those human individuals who were hurt or killed. Lady, listen. This point and bloke we were discussing whether he did this or that, he was my closest friend. In my work, you do not easily admit to having friends because, like in other jobs, people get transferred or sacked. In my job, people get killed. But he was my friend. There's nothing callous in my thoughts about what happened on that day. My friend died because unauthorized, armed French special forces were hanging around in a British port. It's all very easy now, now that we all know who they were. It wasn't then. They were just armed men that posed a real and an immediate threat to life. We dealt with that threat what we're trained for. You do it very well. The press caught my wife and I in a particularly vulnerable state. And um, because of the secret nature of Caroline's work, I was unaware of the true nature of what she did. And probably said more than I ought to have done. So I'm quite happy that the tribunal will be able to clear matters up. I have no further comment to make at this time. Lord Thank you. Yeah. Good old Hannah. What do you mean? Visiting the parents, offering Caroline a medal. What? It was Dempsey's idea. That's just bollocks. Are you going to testify against the regiment? I don't know. I still my head in. I can't sleep. Shall I make you a drink? Yeah. Okay, you go on up. Can Jimmy take me up? Go on then, Jimmy. <laughs> he won't bite. Come on in, mate. Is Pete in? No, he's not back yet. Come in. Hey, that's great news about Caroline, isn't it? Yeah. Did I see Jamie's car outside? Yeah, he's upstairs. He's reading to the kids. So, how are things with you and Diana? How are things with you and Pete? No, don't ask. Look, he knows I blocked his return to Wops. Oh, my God, Heno, I'm so sorry. So am I. How can you ride your bike in that state? Oh. Cozy, happy families. Drink? No, thanks. Uh, don't get sanctimonious on me, mate. Cheat! Are you here to ask how I got on in Luton? Or do you want to... you want to check my fitness? Pete! Well, try me. Go on, why don't you? Have a go, eh? Pete, it was me that asked him to block you! Huh. The loyal 
wife. Eh? Wait. It's like the bloody Walton's in here. Right, I'm off. Yeah, you do that. They're asking for you, Walton. I'm not surprised. I'll mind them. They're my kids. I'll be fine, honestly. He'll pass out in a minute. Okay, I'll get going. Yeah, I better. See ya. Bye. And more of the SAS personnel are giving their statements tomorrow. The Ministry of Defence have refused to comment while the inquiry is ongoing, but inside sources say there have been further calls for the days of secrecy surrounding 22 Regiment SAS to be ended. Hey. Jamie. Is he in? No. No. He's away fishing till tomorrow. Come in. Jamie. On a respite week. Hey, mate. Jamie, it was an accident. Did you come to get him? I warned him you would. I told him. You are 26 years of age and currently serving with the 22nd Regiment. Yes, sir. How long have you been a member of the SAS? A little under a year, sir. And before that? A Green Army, sir. Regular army. Four, six years. Ah, oh, very good. And you are Soldier C, who was at the foot of the gangway when the shooting began on the motor vessel Dowager Joan. If I may, my lord, my client wishes to exercise his right to silence. Uh, but you were at the dock. My client exercises his right to silence. Do you have any memories you wish to share with us? Forgive me, my lord. My client wishes to exercise his right to silence. The little shites torpedoed us. I thought you'd told them to talk. I've asked them, sir. I can't deprive them of their legal right to silence. Poor leadership, Aiden. Very bloody poor. I've shielded you from upstairs. But now, heads are going to roll. Well, at least the girl's woken up now. Too bloody late to make much difference, I suspect. Come. Ah, does. Relief column, I hope. No. Louis keeping silent means they brought Hannah and Jamie forward to this afternoon. Sir. Jamie's gone AWOL. He's not answering his mobile phone or his bleeper. Nobody knows where he is. Maybe we can juggle about the witnesses. Can't do it, sir. I spoke to the MOD barristers. Apparently, their lordships will go ballistic. And we'll look even more of a shower than we already do. Dotsie, find him. It's getting bloody desperate, Henry. I thought we were getting on top of things. First, Louis drops us in the shite, and now Jamie. Perhaps he's offering himself up as our sacrificial lamb. Come! Sir, I think Jamie's going to see his family. Where are the others? Hannah's given evidence. Jamie's gone AWOL. Pete's gone to look for him. What? Louis's here. Louis, Louis, Louis. Who let me do my turn on the stand. Slagging my mate off to save his pathetic... All right, house. all right. Louis, run. Ricky, you chase him. If you catch him, you can hit him once. Stay within the pitch. Louis, go. Ricky... I'm going to kill you! Well, we're in luck. There's been a delay. A good deal more forensics being presented this morning. How long? Right. 
Keep me posted. Could be our luck's turning. Hello's not needed for an hour or two. I suppose I'm used to him dealing with most problems, but he seems a bit off the pace at the moment. Any idea why? This is it. He said he was heading off back to Hereford. But he didn't. But can you think why? Some business to sell him? Stepfather? Look, where will Jamie find him? He's away fishing. When's he back? Look, Beth. Six feathers, right? Right. Cast, sink, strike, wallop, fish in every feather, none less than a pound and a half. My, oh, my. It's the gay who's are. Oh, you ever! Touch my brother! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Come on, you bastard! Come on! Come on! them again I will kill you Jamie Pete in the car <coughs> I thought you weren't fit that's a matter of opinion boss may I ask you sergeant would the expression, keep on shooting until you run out of ammunition, be an SAS byword? We are usually brought in when a situation has to be resolved with the use of violence. In those circumstances, we are aggressive and robust. If you hesitate... You might find out it's a French Special Forces unit you're up against. Did the firefight just happen, or were there decisions involved? There were decisions. However, decisions made in that environment can't really be judged in the same context as decisions made in the peace and quiet of a courtroom. I believe it was a bullet from your weapon that wounded Captain Caroline Walsh. That bullet was not from my weapon, sir. A forensic report says it was from your weapon. Well, that is incorrect, sir. Well, you are Soldier A. Sir? And the bullet fired by soldier A hit Jean Le Maison, caught his rib, followed the curvature, and left the body again at an angle of 35 degrees. Were these notes not handed on to your team? Uh, yes, my lord, they were, but there wasn't time to communicate that information. You are telling this court that you failed to tell your client that he fired the bullet that shot down and seriously wounded one of his own people. Uh, yes, my lord, I'm afraid that is the case. That's very shoddy. Perhaps it would be unkind to press this matter. Uh, should we go on to another witness and come back to Soldier A later? I'm fine, sir. If I may, my lord. <sighs> so be it. You all submitted statements. Yes. I shot the man because I believed he posed a genuine threat to myself and my colleagues. I shouted two clear warnings, then opened fire. Do you recognize that? That is my statement. Well, no, actually. 
That is the statement of Soldier B. But I can understand the confusion, as all the statements are uncannily alike. Did you collaborate on their production at all? No, Mum. The court turning out as stressful as the battlefield after all. Uh, Soldier A, I think you should seriously consider your position at this moment. Is it true that you got Hanold to tell Captain Walsh's parents she's up for a gong? No. The truth thing again. Yes, I did. And do we hand out medals for killing our allies? <laughs> Being first, Jamie. <laughs> Is there anything you wouldn't do for this regiment? No. Good luck in the witness box. However you decide to play it. So. So you believe you're always acting within the guidelines? And any suggestion that you, because of your training, might have been over-eager to get involved, as it were, are false? I was putting a tracker on the ship, and I wanted to get off without nobody knowing. I wasn't eager to get involved. I mean the SAS were over-eager. Is that a question? Were the SAS over-eager to get involved? I told you. I was on the other side of the ship. I have no idea whether they were or not. Ask them. Did you not get any idea if they were over-eager from the debriefing or from conversations you had with colleagues after the event? I've been in several situations where shooting took place. I've seen many bodies. Some of them bodies of people I've killed, and some of them bodies of my friends. It's not something you go home and look forward to happening again. Were they over-eager? I don't know. If it has such an effect on you, why do you do it again and again? And if the bodies were innocent people or women colleagues, you still shrug and move on to the next job? I don't think that's what I just said. What I'm saying is that you don't give up just because your mates die. No, it's not pleasant, but it is a fact in what we do. So you don't just give up. Had Captain Walsh had the same training as the rest of you? She's done several tours in Northern Ireland. That's a no? During the firefight, were there no communications saying that the opposition were French soldiers? Not that I know of. Well, you're all pretty quiet. What about my lovely children? How was your day? Come in. Help yourself. There's plenty. No, thanks. Jamie came on side in the end. Still not enough. But what else is there? A resignation or two might buy off the slavering hordes. It's all very sad. Family moved out. 
Not coming back. Anybody know? You're holding up, all right? I'm fine, Aiden. Right. Well, I'll be off then. You are Soldier B. I am. A captain in the 22nd Regiment, otherwise known as the SAS. I am. And troop officer on the day of the confrontation on the Dowager Joan. Yes, sir. Would you share with us your memories of that day? Yes, sir. Armed French Special Forces were operating, without our knowledge, on a ship in a British port, a ship which we were tasked to keep under armed surveillance. They had no right to be there, and their very presence was a recipe for disaster. The fact of their presence was not a license to shoot them? No, sir. And you were the officer in command of the troop? Yes, sir. Do you feel that you behaved appropriately? No, sir. Two of my men were trapped on board the ship, and I, in error, allowed more of my men to move to forward positions in order to affect the exfiltration of those two men on the ship. I should not have allowed them to move forward. Having got into a hole, I should have stopped digging. It was my responsibility to assess the level of risk and to keep strong lines of communication with all my men. I failed in both these areas. I failed to maintain control of the situation. And that failure contributed, in concert with the transgression of the French Special Forces, to considerable loss of life. I am duly resigning my commission. I apologize to those who have suffered the loss of loved ones. My lords, as agreed with your lordships, I have a signed, sworn, and witnessed affidavit from Captain Caroline Walsh, who remains in intensive care and is unable, therefore, to attend these proceedings. She has asked that this statement be read out at the tribunal. <clears throat> there has been a good deal of emotive sniping about the presence of a woman in the operation on the Dowager Joan. I resent, I resent the, sexist the sexist nature, nature of many of the comments I have read. I worked hard and made several applications to be attached to 22 Reg. It has been a matter of great pride to me that I've been allowed to serve with that regiment. And when I am fit, I hope to return and take my place with them. Going. 
finely balanced. Good. And good news filtering down. Oh, chap who did the decent thing. Seems to have had the desired effect. It should all be done and dusted. The French contributed a junior cabinet minister and two officers. So we win. That's enough. 